Hi, I'm Joel Devell, and I'd like to introduce you to the new 208C. It's the uh, new revision of the 208. The Model 208, if you're familiar with it, it was, uh, was normally part of the easel, but now we've made it more modular. That means we can take this out and put it in its own box. In fact, we are introducing the easel command module, which will fit just the 208C itself and uh, will be sold by itself and we'll have a number of interesting capabilities to make it more independent. But likewise, also you could take this and put it into your modular bookless system and uh, it'll work there as well because it's a single board on the back. You can mount your standard reverb on the back, your standard spring reverb, and you can still fit it in a 200E case. So first of all, if you're familiar with the 208, we moved the random here, up here, so we can make some space for some other things here, which I'll explain in a moment. Um, you may know that the the 208 had to you had to toggle this switch. Now it gets its own dedicated switch for that function, and you can put this in different modes. And if you look further over here, we've got the mod oscillator, which has gone green. So we've gone green, you might say, and uh, we now have a banana jack that is also green related to just the mod oscillator. So one of the new things here is of course we have FM input, FM input knob, which reminds me that we've changed a number of things up here on the top. We have a whole new set of inputs and outputs. We've got five new ins and outs related to audio and five new ins for control voltage. So the audio outputs are, we now have its own independent mod oscillator output and control uh, and complex oscillator output and the mod oscillator has an MFM input. So we've got that and we've got a separate gate one input, a separate gate two output. We always had a gate two output option here, so that remains. And um, the CV inputs that we have now that are new are, when you'll see, is we've got a uh, CV going into the mod frequency, the mod oscillator that's independent of these other inputs. Uh, one nice thing about that is you can trim this down so it's more like an octave. Um, and, and you can also use it for other functions, I'll explain later. Also, you've got uh, control of the envelope generator. Say so now you could put this in sustain for random and then randomly change that possibility. Uh, we've also got, so that covers one, two, three, four inputs here. And the fifth new input is up here on the complex oscillator, the um, wave shape mix. Now you can control that um, independently outside and somewhere else. A lot of these things were often done on the card, but now we've put them on the panel, which allows you to, when you put it in your modular system, not to have to dedicate a card to those additional new functions. So we thought that was kind of nice, if you're going to go modular, not to be so reliant on this card. And in fact, it's in the future, we're planning a situation where there will be an internal preset management system that will take the place of this card slot. That will be an option that is possible with the 208C. The other things you'll see are simply some artistic changes, uh, both to reference some of the older, uh, the older, more accurate panel of the original 208. Um, and also we've got more accurate oscillator frequencies listed on the front. On the back, it's less deep, but that doesn't mean we've compromised anything. Um, in fact, we have, we still have the reverb. Um, and you can still fit the spring reverb in there. And we also have the capability, like I said, of making an internal preset manager in the future. But also right now, we have a card for MIDI input so that you can use what would essentially be the same keyboard inputs and use an external keyboard or some other MIDI input to do those same functions. Also, they'll have a few other functions, not just the keyboard input. Also, speaking of reverb, the reverb has the option of being a digital reverb. That'll also give you less depth 
of the unit, which might be more flexible for certain cases. And some people will like some lush sound of a, a digital reverb that might be something they really enjoy. And that's great. We can accommodate that now. So a couple things I forgot to mention. Uh, I shouldn't have forgotten. One is, well, of course, we have the mod oscillator coming in here, but we have ways to control the source. This, normally, when you controlled the source and brought it up here, you got nothing unless you plugged something in here. Well, now, guess what? What is that? It's noise. That's right. So we have white noise coming in. When you plug in, and when you switch up here, we have a white noise source now. So we thought that might be easy. It's simply the 266 white noise, um, analog white noise, when you switch to this position. It seemed a logical thing to add. So if you're not plugged into here, once you plug something into here, the white noise is no longer your source. Your source is whatever you plug into there. You could even plug the complex oscillator into there. You can control these switches, of course, with control voltages from something like an AUX card or a special patch you put here. So that could be a fun way to switch between your outputs. All right. That said, one other thing I also forgot was the reverb. Right now it's in there as the spring reverb I mentioned, but the digital reverb I mentioned can be stereo. That means this output is actually now a true stereo output. So if you put it effects, say you, instead of uh, digital reverb, just reverb, you could put in a ping, a unit that had a ping pong delay or something else that you had set up, some other kind of effects. This will still do the wet dry mix for you and it will now be stereo. That means these pots, the changes are these pots are now actually stereo. You'll hear it out the headphone output as well as these main outputs. So stereo reverb possibilities or stereo effects of any kind possibilities. There you go. I believe that covers pretty much all that there is in the new 208C. I think it's more colorful. I think it's a little more artistic and it's more flexible. It gives you more inputs and outputs. And I think that makes it more unique for whatever style of music you prefer. So there you go, the 208C.